Hey guys, it's Special Chelsea here and welcome to Manchester United Series Episode 8. This is the end of season review and as you can see by the league table, we did not win the league. We lost the league by one point to Manchester City in what was probably the tightest three-way finish I think I've ever seen um, in the EPL um, on this game. So as you can see, City finished one point ahead of myself and Chelsea. We did finish in second though. Um, by a plus four goal difference. Had we finished on level points, we would have actually won the league. So that was really disappointing. And had we actually won the two games um, since the you know the previous episode, we would have of course won the league. So really disappointing. But we'll get into the fixtures now because we have to. Um, even though it's quite disappointing, the last episode um, of a fixture roundup was the Everton. Alright, so Everton, we beat them 3-1 at home. Goals coming from Welbeck, Evans and Smalling. Um, Gufron actually plays for Everton now, so that's something interesting. Um, I'm actually going to go through these fixtures a little bit quicker and not click on every single one. But we beat Southampton as well at home. 3-1 um, as well, you know, kind of a mimicking results the last three games. Or these three games, I should say. Hernandez, Evans, and Welbeck were the goal scorers in that one as well. Then was the FA Cup fifth round. Javier Hernandez again. Yanazai also on the score sheet, as well as Yarmolenko. We then drew 3 all with Cardiff in the Premier League. Basically, if we had won this game, you know, we could have won the Premier League. But anyway, Hernandez getting another goal for himself there, and Juan Mata. And there was also an away, uh, not an away goal, a um, own goal, I should say. Anyway, the next game was Blackburn at home at Old Trafford, and we destroyed them 4-0. Two goals from jo um, Jones, Yamalenko with one, and Welbeck with one as well. We were obviously drawn against Fiorentina in the Champions League first knockout round, as you can see. Drew two all away from home in the first leg. Zanny Welbeck getting our only goal, well, the only goal we, we actually scored there. Um, Newcastle was up next. We beat them 4-2 away from home. Pretty decent result. Then Percy, Yamalenko, Marta, and Hernandez on the score sheet there. So four different goal scorers before we took on Ipswich at home in the sixth round of the FA Cup. Beat them 3-0. Then Percy, Valencia, and Hernandez. We then lost to Stoke away um, in the Premier League. And, yeah, nothing much to say about that. It was a really disappointing game. Um, and, you know, fixture, well, results like that kind of, you know, screwed us over in the long run. We then beat Fiorentina 2-1 at home to get through to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Um, a brace from Danny Warbeck got us through, and um, we were smooth sailing from there. Tottenham was up next. We could only manage a one-all draw with Tottenham. Only goal coming from our centre-back, Johnny Evans. Um, and the less said about that game, the better. We should have won at home against Tottenham, but anyway. Fulham was up next. We beat them 4-3 in a, a seven-goal stunner. Goals coming from Van Persie, Nani Evans, and Javi Hernandez. We drew Sevilla in the quarterfinals of the Champions League and beat them 1-0 in the first leg with our goal coming from Van Persie. We then took on Norwich in the FA Cup semi-final the game after, and yeah, we beat them 3-0 to get to our first um, final, or cup final I should say. Goals coming from Van Persie, Yanazai, and Welbeck. We then drew one all with Sevilla, or Sevilla, in the second leg of the quarterfinal. Um, our only goal coming from Chris Smalling there. This is the game I mentioned in the previous episode. Um, the 4-0 absolute battering by our rivals Liverpool. And um, yeah, I think the less said about that game the better. It was at Anfield. We then bounced back against the um, you know eventual champions Manchester City in the Manchester Derby. We beat them 2-0. Yanazai and Hernandez getting the goals for us there before we drew in the next game to Crystal Palace, who were currently, at this stage, second last. And, um, yeah, they basically, like, these results cost us the the league, as you can see. And um, our only goal came from Warbeck there. We then drew Barca in the semi-final of the Champions League. Lost 3-1 in the first leg. Our away goal came from Yarmolenko, but um, I was quietly worried. Um, we actually dominated possession in that game. It was 57-43. to um, if I remember correctly. So, you know, it was good, while well, it was good to actually, you know, out-dominate possession, um, they did win the game, which was, you know, not the result that we wanted. We then, you know, followed that up with a really, really disappointing result. A 2-0 draw away at Leeds. Um, in a derby, the Rose Derby, I think it's called. 
Our goal coming from Van Persie, and the other one was an away goal, uh, an own goal. I keep saying away goals. Anyway, Leeds were actually coming, I think, yeah, they were coming dead last by some way. They finished on 11 points, and obviously one of those points came from me. So that was, you know, basically at that point, I knew the league was, was you know, done and dusted, done and buried, and we were pretty much fucked from there on. Um, and it continued. Anyway, one all draw at home to Barca. Uh, the only goal coming from Danny Welbeck in that game. Um, lost a, a little bit of pride losing that, you know. We actually scored first, so I was quietly confident that we could actually get another goal and actually, you know, go on to win the game and make the final. Um, but then Lionel Messi, I think it was either Messi or Neymar, I'm not sure which one, but they um, absolutely broke Man United hearts around the world. Obviously, that was the previous episode, the FA Cup final, where we lost to Chelsea in quite a disappointing game. Um, Yenizai coming up with the goal, but um, it was pretty much only for consolation. We lost the next game against West Ham away at Upton Park, or the Bowling Ground as it's called. Um, Johnny Evans gave away an own goal, didn't call an away goal that time, and Danny Welbeck got the only goal for us before we batted West Ham 3-0. And if you have a look here, the goal scorers were Yenizai again as he started, Ron Vlaar own goal, and Robin Van Persie. Um, and yeah, um, Brian Giggs actually made his last um, appearance in a Manchester United shirt in that game as well, um, as he's retiring at the end of the season, and I should actually hop in. I'll actually show you guys this, if I can actually get into it. I want to give Giggs a contract, obviously as a staff player. What's his current staff role? I should know this, but anyway... I don't actually know, but anyway, whatever he wants, I'll give it to him, because, yeah, why not? Club job, under-18s coach. Well, he wants to be an under-21 coach at the moment. Lower that a little bit. Uh, he wants compensation. There we go. Alright, I didn't want him to be able to leave for a job, because that obviously tempts other clubs coming in. Alright, so we'll have another look at the league table. As you can see... Um, Man City first, United second, Chelsea third, tied on points with United. Stoke actually made the Champions League. I have no idea how they managed that. Um, I don't even think they have been taken over, if I'm being honest. 75 mil, I don't know if that's a lot or if that's a takeover or what it is. They're predicted 14th, so yeah. Um, they don't actually have any good players. I think their best player is, um, what's his name? Well, I think Peter Crouch has actually played well for them. Um, Begovic has been outstanding. What's his average rating? Oh, it's actually quite shit, but anyway. Um, what's his name? What's his name? Unless they sold him. I think they might have sold him, actually. Yeah. Anyway, Breck Shea actually scored against me in that, um, in that game I lost to them earlier in the season. So that was pretty disappointing. Um, but anyway... They did finish fourth, and then the Europa League spots we have Tottenham, Arsenal, and Liverpool. You know, three of the bigger clubs, Stoke finished above. Um, the relegated teams this season were Crystal Palace, Blackburn, and obviously Leeds with 11 points. And uh, they didn't actually score, uh, concede 100 goals, I should say, so a bit of a positive sign for them, I guess. Um, if we have a look at the stats, um, games, well, I mean, obviously that's a stupid thing to have there. Goals. We actually scored the most goals at 97, um, and that's well. The conceded list is pretty much the reason why we did not win the league. And yeah, games without winning, I guess that's bad. And obviously our recent form was quite shit as well. So yeah. Anyway, have a look at the player ratings now. Average rating: Juan Mata, um, topping the chart, which I guess is good. He did have a really, really good start to the season, um, all the way up until after. A, Probably February, he was outstanding um, on a 7.61. And you got Willian, Aguero, Hazard, and Suarez. Johnny Evans, games won. That's an interesting thing to see. Probably played every league game, I think. Um, we got no one in the goals tally, which is obviously really disappointing. But we did share the goals between Hernandez and Welbeck this season. Um, so there's that. Juan Mansa, 27 assists, which is obviously the reason why it's so high there. And shots on target ratio, we have Danny Welbeck coming fourth, which is quite interesting. Um, anyway, so yeah, there's that.
Uh, have a look at the, any award winners. We don't actually have any players in Team of the Week this week, but um, I guess that's not really to be, you know, sought after with the um, week we've had. So yeah, that's basically it. We've obviously got these players coming in. Um, there's a few more players I've brought in, actually. Um, a couple of youth players, basically, um, and that's it. going to try and ship out a few players now as well because I want to get rid of a lot of the Deadwood in my squad. We've already set up a deal for Fellaini to go to Napoli for 8 point... Is it Napoli? We'll have a little looky here in a second. Um, it's Udinese, sorry, for 8.5 mil, so that's good. Get him off the wages. Going to try and get rid of Anderson as well. Um, Evra, I'm probably going to sell my fullbacks. I was thinking about making a new formation um, within getting rid of the advanced swingers and dropping them back into wingbacks. And then I could, you know, potentially use uh, Valencia and Butner as my wingbacks and, you know, kind of have five at the back going forward because I think that would give me a lot more balance and it would be a lot more beneficial, um, especially in the big games, playing a controlled style instead of attacking and just, yeah, just trying to actually take the game to them, force a lot of pressure on them, get the, you know, get the wingbacks, like, overlapping the um, midfield players and trying to, you know, thread in a few crosses for my strikers. That would be good. Um, anyway, that's basically the episode, guys. If you could please give me a thumbs up down below. Drop a comment um, as to, you know, what you think actually went wrong this season. I don't... On, if I'm being honest, this has probably been quite a successful season where we haven't actually won anything. But, you know, we made the quarterfinals of the Capital One Cup. Runners up in the FA Cup to Chelsea. Second in the Premier League by one point, which we should have won, which is probably the most disappointing thing. Um, obviously, the Champions League, we came up against a very good Barcelona team with the likes of Neymar and Messi, but um, to make the semi and to only lose by two goals, goal, uh, two goals goal difference, goal, yeah, goal aggregate, aggregate, I guess is the term, is pretty good, and um, I think, let's have a look, actually. I don't think it's been played yet. As you can see, it is an El Clasico for the final, and obviously Barcelona were the uh, winners of the Champions League last season, so... You know, to go out to them in the semis is pretty good, and uh, Real actually beat PSG quite badly, I think, in the last round, if you have a look. I oh, don't know, 5-4 on aggregate, so they actually was closer than this game anyway. So that's good. Um, yeah, that's basically it for this episode, guys. Um, head over to my channel and subscribe to keep up to date with these episodes, and uh, don't forget to check out my AS Monaco series if you haven't checked it out before. Um, and yeah, that's basically it, guys. Goodbye.